All right, everyone, this is Zero Budget Geek, and welcome to Callie's Caves 3. So, if you guys have been watching my channel, you've seen that a uh, couple months ago, actually, by now, uh, I re reviewed this game, I did a first impressions video, and I really, really liked it so much so that I've decided that now I want to do a full playthrough of it. So, that is what we're getting ready to do. So I'm not continuing from where I started before. We're going to be starting a fresh new game. So let's go ahead and hit start here. And we're going to start this new adventure. So looks like our parents there are getting uh, captured by something. So there I am, Callie. And if you're not familiar with the game, it's basically a platformer where you jump around. You have double jumps. You have uh, guns that you can shoot. And we got... Hi, Lloyd. Kelly, what do you think of this riff? Hey Lloyd, you aren't going to believe this. Your parents got kidnapped by Herbert again. How did you know? I saw the hover ship fly away. Listen, Herbert revamped the caves and kept up his experiment. It's gonna get crazy down there. I'm ready. Well, head through that door and let's get started. Okay, so as I was saying before, well, we have guns that we can shoot. We have a sword that we can slice things. Oh, I didn't know. That was a secret there. We can slice, uh, we can swipe, slice stuff and we can change weapons, but we don't have any other weapons. Okay, so this is basically a platformer, Metrovania style game with a bunch of enemies to kill and lots to explore. This little TV thing that I... Uh, click there is a basically a checkpoint and so our character uh, as we fight and kill things we will level up our character um, and as we use a particular weapon uh, or gun rather we will it will get better will gain its own experience but our sword does not gain experience so our sword will have to upgrade it with um, with actual uh, coins well, all these coins that we're uh, collecting we're gonna need to use those in order to upgrade our various things all right we kill that was there anything down there? okay so I've been told that the game can be a little bit grindy because you gotta basically collect coins uh, in order to uh, basically get better and progress and kill this now the great thing about the sword is that the sword does a little bit more damage and it uh, locks the enemies into a hit stun but we want to use our gun as much as possible because we do want to level level it up and I almost fell there so we can see we have a little map there and down at the end we can see that there's going to be a boss and I kind of didn't mean to drop down here but it's fine now we need to be careful because if you look in the upper left hand corner I have three hearts those are the how many hits I can take so if I get hit three times I will die now death in this game isn't too terrible because when you die you simply will just uh, get thrown back to your last checkpoint and um, you'll also lose uh, some coins uh, so you don't want to do that I want to use my gun here as, as much as possible. I need to really use that. Um, so, it, so far on the surface, it's not the deepest uh, strategy game, but I mean, it's a lot of fun. I mean, I like that the controls are very, very tight. You know, I mean, it is very responsive. And we do want to like slash at those background, um, uh, like the background foliage. We can find coins and stuff there. So. That's why you're gonna see I'm, I'm slicing them through. Now I haven't played this game very much, other than just playing it uh, during my first impressions video. So I'm still eh, a little bit of a novice. Man, he almost bit me, you bum! Get out of here! All right, get that. Now, fortunately, the enemies do drop um, uh, uh, health sometimes, so. So that's a good thing, because I'm not sure. Or this guy, you level these weapons up by using them. Higher levels mean more power, and every few levels your weapons evolve. You'll probably find lots more weapons down there. Get to it. Yep. So now we get the shotgun, 
which is usually my favorite weapon in most video games. So we can switch weapons. There's the pistol, shotgun. I want to use the shotgun because it has a uh, spread effect to it. Um, and it's kind of nice whenever you meet a new enemy, it uh, tells you what their name is. All right, let me not kill these. Now, like most shotguns, uh, if you hit if you hit them while you're really close, there you see my weapon leveled up. I don't know if you saw that, but yeah, my weapon leveled up. All right. Now, if you, if you watch my first impression, you'll probably have seen that I screwed up on this part very often. So I remembered basically not to not to screw up. Okay, we're moving here. Um, we are getting closer to the boss, so I need to. I think there is a store coming up that we'll be able to level up our things. Did I kill him? I think I did. Yep. Grab all of that. No, he hit me. So like I said, I believe the sword does a little bit more damage, but you gotta be close to him. Uh, well, technically more damage. I think it does more damage per hit, but and it hit stuns them, which is nice. All right, I need that health, good. But again, we do want to keep using our weapons, our guns rather, because we want to level it up. And right now we're just facing very easy enemies. So, uh, oops, kill this guy from afar. Yeah, you don't want to you you want to stay as far away from oh shoot you want to stay as far away from enemies as you can because they do make short work of you until you find like um, some more health there are health upgrades I think it's just a matter of leveling up my character and then I'll get more more health no shit come on give me a health in here all right that that was good yeah, you got to be careful because the enemies will react to you they don't just uh pace back and forth even though it looks like it can i jump down into there oh no that's damage <laughs> the water does damage there i thought that was a safe place to go so there we go we lost some we lost some money not a tremendous amount but it did knock us back we have a map uh there's our map so let's get out of our out of there. Oops, I don't want to use a pistol. I want to use a shotgun. All right, so let's try to get back to where we got. Now the great thing is, is that it looks like the uh, coins respawn, so we'll be able to collect all that stuff back again. Now I do want to collect up to, I do want to get 5,000 coins because there's a, there's an upgrade for your, uh, there's a money modif mod multiplier rather. Um, so I can pay 5,000 uh, coins and I can get this mu multiplier that'll make, uh, you know, um, all these coin drops uh, be more. Kill this guy with the sword. So you want to try not to die very often, because that'll really hurt your uh, your ability to upgrade. And there's a fair amount of switching. You know, you want to use your sword and guns to the. Ooh, our shotgun has evolved. Is now the Model 50 Observer. Damage increased, more bullets, and it has a wider spread. Kill these guys again. Like I said, we want coins, and there are a lot of different weapons to find in this game. So, as much as I kind of like the shotgun, um, I believe there's gonna be other weapons that are gonna basically. Oh, oh, he almost chopped me there. There are gonna be other weapons that I'm probably gonna use in favor of the shotgun because they're just plain better. I want to get this. Oh, nothing there. A 
and you know we want to we do want to upgrade our weapons so by the time we get to the boss uh, we'll do a lot more damage to get all those coins all right we've talked to this guy already so that's a good thing that the only the only loss of progression is uh, is just a few coins so I have to re redo everything. Oh, we leveled up ourselves, so our our health went up a little bit more, which is good. We need that uh, before we get to the boss. Okay. Uh, but basically, you know, if you've played any of these games, it's like this. Now I don't know how much backtracking there is. Uh, I know a lot of Metrovania games. You you. Um, you know, when you once you unlock other abilities, you you want to go back to further area, uh, earlier areas to access stuff that you couldn't get to before. But I don't know how much of that is in here. I mean, for the most part, it's a little bit more of a run and gun game than than a Metroidvania, I'd say. But I like that. That's that's fun to me, especially because. Cali is pretty much a badass. We're very close to our 5,000. So I don't want to die. So we're going to just stay far from things and just kill him with our gun. Alright, weapon leveled up. That's good. Alright, I still do want to drop down. Because there's, I know there's stuff over here. Kill that guy. Sorry, I'm stabbing you in your butt. Okay. Kill that. Uh, we're at 4,800. Okay. Uh, do I wanna? I don't know if I'm hitting that wolf. Yes, I am. I think I got him. I think he's dead. Yep. I want to get as many coins as possible. Right, and that just puts me back to the beginning. Okay. And it does not look like enemies respawn on the same stage. That's good. And we are definitely going to kill you. Because we want your coins. 4,800. Almost there. Um, I think we're up to the point where we get to buy stuff. Oops. I went back. Oh, no. All right. Just puts me there. Oh, uh, might as well kill this guy, get some coins out of him. But that's not where we want to go. Alright. That was a little tricky part. There, I, I didn't want to get hit by him. Alright. I want to try to take as little damage as possible. But yeah, um, um, like I've mentioned many times before, I, I really like the controls of the game. It feels very tight. I feel like if I if I die, it was most likely my fault, you know. And conversely, if I'm doing well, it's because I'm I'm you know playing great. Let's, see, let's get. All right, we're we're above five thousand coins. We're above 5,000, so I definitely don't want to die now. But I do want to explore everything. So that's... Oh, man, I can't go down. I can't jump down. All right. Well, we'll talk to this guy. Hey, Kali. Great job on this zone. I'm almost done. With this area, yeah. Each zone has a crazy boss at the end, though. You will have to defeat them to move on. I've heard there's a deranged direwolf guarding the entrance to the caves. Good luck. Alright. I don't want to go down, though. I mean, I don't want to go through that. I want to go down, and it's not letting me. I cannot jump down, so I'm forced forward at this point. So I got to fight him. Here's the boss. I don't want him to touch me at all. Alright. 
kind of concentrate here. I've beaten him before, so I know I can do this. Come on. Alright. Die! Alright. Did it. And we got a lot of... Oh, look at that. We got, we got 3,100. Alright. Kelly. Hey, Rupert. I haven't seen you since you stopped showing up for Miss Goodtree's class. Yeah, I had some troubles with my dad. That's understandable, considering he is ever. Yeah, I mean, I thought I could bring it back to reason with a solid business plan. I thought maybe we could run a store as a family, but after what happened with my mom, he's too far gone. But, plus, he was always a jerk when he was around. Well, you know how the saying goes, you can't help someone that doesn't want help. That's a pretty good way of looking at it. What are you up to? Well, funny story. Let me guess, my dad kidnapped your dad and mom. I think they are in the inner sanctum. Listen, I'm drone trying with him. Let me help you get your parents back. Come check out my store. Alright. Store time. Yeah. Oh. Got that. Alright, so here's a store and we can basically look at stuff. Um, I don't know what everything is. I would like to upgrade our sword, but I think our sword costs 10,000. So, no. Uh, we are just going to go to this multiplier here. Uh, go to that. So, 5,000 and coins are multiplied by 2. So, I will buy that. And then, that'll mean that I'll be able to... I'm not sure what all of these other stuff... Are, but we will be able to just um, basically figure that out as we go. Um, health regen, not sure what that is yet, but we'll, we'll figure this out. We'll buy things uh, as we play. Uh, let's go check out the weapon. So here you can see that there's a pistol, a shotgun, which I have. There's an assault rifle eventually that we're going to get. Uh, we'll, we can find an RPG. There's a flamethrower, a blade gun, a spike gun, a mine, bombs, sniper rifle, boomerang, laser. And that's everything. And then you will be able to, like, so the pistol here, we can give it a uh, frost effect, but it costs 350,000 coins. Uh, and we can also give it a lightning effect, which is 250,000 coins. So from what I've heard, in your first playthrough, you're probably not going to get that much money to get these. Uh, but there is a new game plus where you can uh, play that, and then you'll be able to upgrade into even more weapons. So, so we'll see how long this playthrough takes for us but um, I think we're gonna be ending things here and uh, you know yeah we'll be ending things here so guys thanks for watching uh, if you like this video please give me a like and I hope you join me on this journey there will be more episodes coming up so thanks for watching and I'll see you soon